What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment at long last after another horrendous delay. And I do apologize for that once again. 2020 just keeps smacking me in the face. Every time I talk about my delays, another one shows up. So I think I'm just going to stop doing that. And in the meantime, we have got some freestyling to do because we are finally back in BeamNG Drive. And since we've been gone, some incredible additions have been made. The Beam Monsters community seems to have grown quite a lot. And there are a lot of new to me trucks for us to try out, including this built for tough Blue Thunder Super Duty. So with that, we will fire it up and get ready to begin the show. All of this stuff, of course, will be linked down in the description and we'll take a lap around the track just to get a look at it. I've added a few obstacles here, the RV, that police car, this bus stack, and we'll start the clock as soon as we hit our first jump, which we'll do right now. Two and a half minutes on the clock. We'll start off with a wheelie there, jumping into a sky wheelie right off the bat. And really, I should be taking this kind of easy because it has been a minute. But we're gonna see if we can climb over this RV without even touching it. We do land on the landing ramp a little short. But we'll walk away just fine. And how about the biggest jump on the track? No better way to get back into it than with that, right? And we landed as flat as you can. My spine right through the skull, that's a shame. Not how you want to start your day of freestyle, but we'll try this RV from another angle here. I'm gonna clip it a little bit. That's gonna send me on an angle. We'll land on that tailgate a bit. Should I do the backflip? This is a dangerous, kind of early backflip. But we'll land it, throw it in reverse, maybe get a little moonwalk out of it. Just keep the reverse rolling over the jump. I think we might have jumped a little bit over that RV, but not totally. Let's back it up and go forwards over this stack. Kind of do the same line and clear the entire mound there. Not bad, all right. A minute and 30 left. Let's try this bus stack out. See what it's all about. These beautiful muscle cars are not gonna be looking so beautiful anymore, unfortunately. We got over that fairly nicely. Those things are gonna keep moving on us too, which is gonna be interesting. Oh, this is a rough landing. This is interesting. Oh boy. Oh man, these are, I'm, I'm hitting these jumps at weird times. Just gas out of it. Beautiful. I'd love to claim skill right now, but I absolutely cannot. Let's just throw it up here. Minute left to go. All right, what else can we do? I feel like we've hit just about everything. This is a modern day Monster Jam track for you, if there ever was one. We'll go over that stack again, clear the RV again. And we gotta try something kind of unique here. How about a little bicycle move here? If I can make, oh, I went a little too far. Here we go. Oh, come on, drive out of it, save it. Beautifully done. That one I might claim a little bit of skill on. That one I had to be careful with. Come on, I got this RV lined up right here. Maybe we'll take it a little bit lower. We still just jumped clean over the thing. With less than 25 seconds to go now. Let's see, we'll run over our own hood. Oh, the hood got tossed over the jump and everything. Oh my God, it went into the stands. Oh, duck in cover. That is dangerous. Gotta watch out for that. This bus. Gotta watch out for me, and I'm crashing into these big tanks. Oh, come on. We got a little bit of time. Can we throw one more backflip into this thing? Let's try it. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Land on the wheels. Yes. Oh, that is sick. And now that is a good way to end the run right there. I don't know if that one counts, but it looked like it was pretty close. I'll consider it a buzzer beater right now. And I can't believe it. I actually get to drive the truck back to the pits. I didn't expect this, so that's neat. Well, speaking of new trucks, man, how about a childhood classic? And check this out, maybe the coolest gimmick I've ever seen ever in anything. So uh, that's pretty dope, the fact that I can actually do that. But this body is dope. The fact that we actually have El Toro Loco is making my inner child scream. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this RV because we didn't even touch it at all last time. So let's touch it up right from the start. Get that thing gone out of my life. And we'll hit the big jump here. Just kind of slide it around, send it up. There you go. Oh, a little bit of a sideways landing here, but nothing we can't control. We'll slide this thing around. Man, I love the fact that this body is in here. That is sick. Just well done to the creators. I got to decide where I want to go with this thing. Back to the bus stack. Up and over. A little bit of like a rear wheel stand there over it, but we'll take it and clean up over that jump. We're going to send it into another one. That might have saved me right there. Got me over those dangerous parts of the RV. That thing will shred tires based on our history. I don't know if that's been fixed or not, but I don't know. It didn't seem to kill us yet, so I'll hold out hope for it. So we hit a couple of small jumps here. 
And that bus is getting knocked around. That thing is out of shape here. And I, I've been kind of forgetting about this police car over here. See if we can run this thing kind of over. <laughs> yeah, all the obstacles I moved aren't like stuck to the ground or anything. They just kind of move around. We crunched that thing pretty good and this jump has just stood me up. Oh my, we just turned that thing on a dime. That was kind of sick. Hit the little smoke for that. There you go. Kind of love this, man. This is awesome. We might have to do this more often. Maybe not this. Oh no. There goes part of the, there goes one of the horns. Oh no, one of the horns. We hardly knew you throw it into a backflip. Maybe we'll lose the other one. We actually did. That was a random landing, but we got it. Up over the RV again. This is dangerous. And that's exactly what I've been terrified of. That is exactly it. Will it rip my, oh my God, we've exploded and the wheel is gone. Just gonna send it now, boys. We don't have much of a choice. Oh my. Well, that's the first catastrophic failure we've had since our return. That's nice. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, we're gonna lose that other horn if we're not careful here, come on. I just gotta have to babysit this thing around here. Do I wanna send it into something and just flail around like a fool for these last 20 seconds? It might not be a bad idea. I'm running over my own tire. Oh my, the hood just went to space. Have fun going to the Space Force, bud. Oh man, we are going the wrong way. We are running out of time. I think this one has seen enough. Old El Toro Loco has gotten beaten up. This poor bull, and with only eight seconds left on the clock. Man, tough scene. Well, how about this for a nice little retro truck? We got the Dodge Mopar Magic. I remember from when I was a kid, this thing's pretty sick. So we'll go ahead and fire it up, listen to that engine roar, and we'll pull out onto the track and get this one started. We'll go this way this time and maybe hit this jump right here in front of us to get this thing started. Count down the clock, land it hard on the rear suspension, and uh, just let that thing know that it's about to go to work as we're gonna land that thing all kinds of crooked. Maybe we'll get a chance to straighten this bus stack back out or just glide over top of it. Clean as you please. We're about the same color as that. Those are probably some Mopar cars laying there by the looks of things. What about this RV? We'll just jump right over top of it, skyrocket it. Oh man, we're going up over and gonna land it. That was beautiful. Now I gotta find reverse. Okay, hopefully they don't have the duck points for this, but maybe they want to find and slam it into something. Let's see. Or not slam it in, but maybe slam it over. I'll take that too. That, that RV is a little bit low. We need to double stack that RV if we really had. Oh man, some skills in this thing. Come on, bus. Oh, don't want to hit the stairs. Don't hit the stairs. That'll implode one of your tires as well. Let's hit the big jump. Get some massive air. Probably the biggest air of the day right there into a bit of a bicycle. But we get it settled down and spun around here. Minute 30 to go. I've been forgetting about this police car again. So we'll smash that one up. Or it's going to come with us. We'll take you on a bit of a journey, Mr. Police Car. That's no problem. How about a backflip? Now that we're winding down this run a little bit. Oh, we are getting all kinds of twisted up and the wheel's gone. Broken right off. And that is gonna hinder these last minute and five-ish seconds. And it goes some more of the suspension. Didn't need it. We got parts flailing around here. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna be reduced to once again as well here. Can I run it into the RV? Can I even get there on three wheels? Maybe not. How about some donuts instead that we basically already started them. Come on. I don't want to blow the engine up, but this is not a bad way to get some style points. Get this tire out of my way. Get out. Oh, it's, it's fighting back. The tire just, the tire just got me. I might be stuck. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that was, but it worked. It's working. It's not working. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I probably should be. This, come on. Oh, we might be done now. This is atrocious. Another catastrophic combustion in the engine. And in my soul, in a way, man, we have destroyed Mopar Magic. F in the chat. Well, I don't know too much about this truck obsessed other than I absolutely love this body style and that's why I'm picking it next up. I'm pretty sure we've used this skin before in Beam, but never on this body style, which is just a beaut. So we're gonna let it roll here. And we gotta switch it up with a different, uh, different something to start this up. And this ramp looks like it's destined to be used for something weird. So let's try it out. Let's try something here. And that is, that is nothing. That's just an abomination is what that is. That was worthless to everybody who's viewed it. That is just not, oh my God. And then I've thrown myself into a loop here. 
and we're swallowing our hood only for it to be freed and then recaptured in the suspension. All right, just gonna send it there. We'll, we'll just keep flying around until this thing frees itself. Otherwise, it's gonna rip off something as the trailer's getting all behind me. Crush that thing down pretty good. I see more parts flapping and we finally lost the hood. That's good at least. Let's see, just run into the bus over here. Literally running into the bus, just crashing into the bus. Oh man, I might not be able to get out of this, although I do. Kind of lucky there. Lucky one of my tires didn't catch on that. I'm gonna have to slap all this stuff back into place. Oh boy. Now I do not want to run into these stairs. Come on. I'm gonna back over the bus. That, that's not gonna help me either. I gotta get away from this. This is a problem, Barry. I'll reset that later. We got time to make up. Oh, this is not great. And there goes the rest of the body. It's gonna go hang out with my soul from the last run. And the big freestyle in the sky, man. What a bummer that is. I'm gonna make this truck the big truck in the sky here. And we get a terrible landing. That would have hurt. I'm just gonna keep setting it now, man. I'm bummed. I was loving looking at this body and I destroyed it immediately. And I'm gonna crash into the wall. Don't catch my tire. It did. It has done it. Oh, we got lucky. Oh, we got it. Let's try it. Let's send it over the gap. We actually made it. Holy crap, but we're in another wall. Back it up. Oh, we're in the seats. We are in the aisle. That is tragic. Can I still start this thing? My engine shut off. I, this might not be, oh God, oh no. So coming back with a little bit more modern truck. Now we have Overkill Evolution, a truck that I have always loved to look up, and now we even have the correct body to match. So that is really, really awesome. And just take a look at this thing. I don't know about you guys, but I just love the look of this thing. The colors, the body style, everything. I just really like it. It just really speaks to me. So we'll go ahead and get this run started and hopefully give this truck a good run. As you can see here, we've uh, reset the bus stack and uh, not actually reset it because the damage is still there, but I put it back in line and I'm gonna have to reverse out of this one because that tanker is just there to ruin my day, apparently. So why don't we take some of that aggression out on this RV by just kind of rolling through it a little bit and driving over and dragging it behind us and we've come busted again. Another explosion, the third of the day. Oh, no, and I have taken this entire RV with me. Backflip it off of me, maybe? Oh, not even close. Not even close. Well, maybe, hold on, we got a little bit of rotation here. I have got a serious fire burn in the back of this thing. And I think I'm gonna be losing some suspension if this keeps up. That does not look promising back there. Maybe try it again? Come on, loosen up, get out of there. Oh, man, these are some quotes, too, by the way. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is... That suspension is getting destroyed back there. We are just going to have to do the classic fling in around for the rest of the time. There goes the tailgate, even. It peaced out and said, I don't want any part of this, and I can't blame it. Over the bus as crooked as you possibly can. I, I want to hit this police car, but I don't want to... All right, let's do it. Why not? Oh, we're dragging it. That's what I was scared of. I was like, this thing's gonna come with me too. I just knew it. Oh man, stick it straight up on the nose, baby. Let's do some tricks with the front of the truck, man. The back end is toast. Come on, just fling this thing around. I hope everything comes off. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. I boxed myself into a bit of a corner here. Oh, come on, I'm gonna jump over these walls. If I blow my tires, I swear on my life. Now we're finally out of the corner. Let's hit something here. Can I stand it up on the nose? Get into a little bit of a stand. Oh, no, it's going over. And there it is. And there goes that weakened suspension. The wheel just comes right off. And the engine says, I've seen enough. And I don't think it's refiring. Well, time to kick it back a little bit once again here to the Bounty Hunter, as I remember it from my youth, uh, which really wasn't that long ago, I guess. But... This truck has changed quite a lot over the years, and uh, it looks pretty sick now, to be honest with you. So we'll go ahead and air it out for the fact that this truck is still alive and kicking, which is a lot more than a lot of trucks from this era can say it feels like. So yay for you, Jimmy Creed. Way to go. Way to keep it alive after all these years. We'll give you some air for it. There you go. That was a flat leg. That didn't sound good or feel good, I would imagine. And this one's going to come off a little crooked as well. And I'm going to have a tough time getting out of this turning radius. A eh, little shot to the <laughs> to the tanker there, but no problem. We'll kiss the top of the camper a little bit. And that is a camper, too. I've been calling that an RV like this whole time, haven't I? I just call them stupid. Let's get into some donuts and hopefully we all forget about that. <laughs> the camper, not an RV. All right. 
Now that I've got my couple of brain cells actually working together and functioning and not flipping the truck over doing donuts, let's try a backflip because that'll go so much better. Oh, we're gonna, gonna have a consecutive one going here. Oh, not quite. Put a little bit of a twist on that one. But we are still able to drive away and that's what matters through the racing lane. Oh, kind of nose stand it there. It's been so long. I don't even remember like the vocabulary for the names of each move anymore. So I'm sorry if I'm just getting these terribly wrong, but I know big air when I see it. I know a bad landing when I see it. I know trouble and this is it. Oh, come on, catch a wheel. No, it's gonna turtle instead and we are gonna be beached with a lot of time left on the clock too. That is a bummer. It only took me like five years of playing Beam, but I finally learned how to flip the trucks over too. So that's nice. It does refire. So there, we'll drive it back to the pits or should I just throw on a little Encore? Maybe I'll throw an Encore on as I go back to the pits. I'll hit a little kind of wheel stand or something off of this if I can. There we go. Am I gonna clip this? Yes, I am. Oh no, I hit the rear steer in the wrong way. Save it. Come on, we gotta get into the pits. Oh, this is, I laid on the gas way too hard right there. Oh, my FPS is dying, but we land on the wheels, count it. So next up, we'll have Wild Hair here. And I do remember this truck a little bit, but not much. I think I might've only seen it a handful of times on TV. And one of those times, I very vividly remember it flipping over. So maybe we ought to take it a little easy out here. But I do think this truck looks awesome. So we'll just kind of baby it over a car to begin with. And now maybe we'll turn it up. I don't want to, with a truck called, it's got wild in the name. We got to be wild with it, don't we? That's kind of, kind of goes without saying. So maybe we should turn it up. Maybe the scene turned around. Should I just go straight for the camper again? Take the top of it. Oh, we kind of created a ramp out of it. And we get a wild landing out of it. How about a backflip? Oh boy, are we going to get the consecutive? Oh, not quite, but that dirt mound's going to help us. As we get a little gravity save, how about that? The hood's off. The hood is kind of back up in my face, and there it goes. As we're kind of rock crawling over these dirt jumps. We'll take the bus on at a crooked angle again. Land it on the back end. And we'll just come flying. The top of the truck's coming off. Am I gonna lose it right here? So we get some massive air. All right, now we're starting to live up to the name here. All right. Get some more air here. I got whatever this piece is like clipping through my engine. That's gonna be another fire here shortly. Let's try to knock it loose. Oh, we're flying. We are in the air and down on our head hard and we are still gonna land on the wheels. Oh, my grave bodily injuries have surely been dealt to my driver, but we are gonna carry on like nothing happened. Can I get a weird bounce out of this and turn it into something on the front end? No, not quite. We're going over. Can I flip it back? Use a little momentum here. Get the gas, let's go. Look at that, and there goes that piece. Freedom at last, with a minute left to go. This run has gone out of control, and that, I don't know what I was hoping to gain with that. I just crashed into the back up with a backflip ramp and bounced off of it into a weird set of flips, and we still land on the wheels. It's all about the momentum. If you can control that momentum, you can do anything. You might not be able to do this though. Oh God. Yeah, this takes a certain amount of skill right here, ladies and gentlemen. Do not try this at home. Certain amounts of skill and ignorance are required and we're still gonna get it back on the wheels. And it's posing for the camera. Look at that suspension just sitting. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't care how much time's left on the clock. We're done, take a picture. Well, how about this for another classic? We have got King Crunch. To me, this is one of the earlier versions of the truck. I remember some of the later paint jobs and designs and bodies that he used, but this one is definitely one of them. So we will roll off with it and get things started with a nice jump right off the bat and a beautiful landing on the backside of that ramp. Could have done that much better if you tried and I can feel my FPS start to dip a little bit too. And oh boy, we are working out that suspension over the ramps. What about this kind of wheelie ramp? What about this right into the camper? We're gonna be crunching that thing down. That was a bit of an awkward landing. I was hoping it wouldn't snag, and luckily it did not. But we had to do a bit of an ugly reverse job out of that, and that might cost us a little bit in the eyes of the non-existent judges. That might make up for it, though, as we were completely up and down. Let's line it up for the bus. Come on, walk it over the bus if we have to. Not hit that tank of that thing. We finish off the RV, or should we go for the cop car? I am thinking about the cop car. I have to stop calling that thing an RV. I just realized I slipped again. I can see the comments now. But the cop car got it. This jump will get it. 
Let's see. Hopefully our suspension won't get it. Are we gonna hit this one again? Should we try to do one of those crazy things again? Let's try it, see what happens. Oh, come on, land this. Oh, we smashed in the front end, but we did it. The backflip is complete. Let's throw it in reverse. Unbelievable, we gotta lose this hood or maybe we'll just refasten it. One of the two. I'll just keep throwing it in reverse over stuff until something happens. Oh, I'm gonna crash. Oh, we've blown up again. I crashed into the track workers and it blew up again. And now we're just, we're destroying the camper. Just an absolute spasm behind the wheel at the moment. And we're gonna drive away ablaze, but like nothing happened. And with a tattered and torn truck, we're just gonna let it fly and let the wheels fly off into a flip. And we stuck the landing. Once again, get out the cameras, take a picture. What a shot. Well, after those last few destructive runs, I think we could all use our day saved. And luckily Superman is here, cape and all ready to roll. Except that the engine just died when I tried to fire it up. There it is. Let's get this thing cranking. Should we start right for the police car? Superman versus the police? Come on, go right over it. No chance. No chance, just don't bring out the kryptonite. Hopefully that's not what that green on the backflip ramp is. That would be a problem. The camper is not, we glide over it and hit a bounce right out of it. We'll hit the freestanding jump over here. Oh, I was gonna try to hit a little wheelie off of that, but we got crooked. So we'll just toss it up this lane instead and see what happens. Should we line it up for the bus? We got an engine smoking over here in one of these muscle cars. Those things are busted up pretty good. But the show's not over. They got a couple more beatings to take, I feel. Nice little clearing of the mound there. We'll get over that. Turn this thing around. Don't hit those tanks. We gotta reach into the bag of tricks here. What can we think of differently? Can I just smash right through that? There we go. That was a nice little smash of the camper. Let's see if we can get back up the bus to the other side. We don't get that thing starting to bend like a banana. We didn't get a very good shot at it right there. It just kind of dripped off the side. We'll take a big old jump right afterwards, nonetheless. Oh, this is gonna be an awkward bounce. Yes, it is. Oh my God, the wheel is busted and it's stuck. Well, this, this is worse than if it had just broken off because now I can't do anything with this other than smash it into stuff, which is pretty much what I was gonna do anyway. And there it goes. It's like, oh really? Okay, well have at it. And that, I gotta be a man of my word, but not if I flip over before I could do it. And we pulled it back. Let's see, what can I think of here to do? What can we try? A backflip, a three-wheeled backflip? How about it? Let's see. Oh, it's going nowhere. It's just a spin. It's just a nice way to turn around is all. Oh, no, no, it's a nice way to get stuck. Back on the wheels we are again, though. I don't know, I'm just gonna send it at stuff and see what happens at this point. We're gonna get that stuck in the suspension. Luckily, we didn't. Let's see, we come run over our own wheel again. There we go. See you later. Thanks for leaving the family, you jerk. Let's just send it up here and see what happens. Might get up here the hard way. Come on, back on the wheels, please. Ah, we're gonna be turtled. And I think Superman has finally met his match with only 20 seconds to go, too. Well, you had to know that for the last truck of the day, we'd reach in and grab something like son of a digger. I have reset the track. Let's get to it up and away. Let's tear it down one last time. The 10th truck of the night. And for some reason, it looks like it has tiny tires, but I think it's because the body's just so big. It's like an optical illusion. We get over the bus nice and easy, no matter what size the tires are. And let's slam it up this dirt ramp, the big one. Clip a little bit of that backflip ramp while we're at it into another ramp. Gonna squeak by the camper, lose our flag and wheelie out of it all. See if we can whip this thing around, slam it into this dirt ramp get some more air we gotta just let it all hang out here throw it into a bicycle very fitting very very fitting we gotta give this bus some more dance we can't leave them let let them leave unscarred after resetting it and send it into a nosedive see about this camper over here should we just fly over top of it why not buzz the tower send it into a huge sky wheelie we gotta tear that thing up too come on let's just go right back for it Let's cause some damage. Oh, we got a bit of a weird angle there, but we're gonna slice and dice the front of it into another little nosedive. And come on, we can't let it live. We gotta go smash it one more time. I know we're playing with our life here, 
I don't want to get snagged, but I want to just destroy it. And crunched it is. All right. Let's see. What else can we do with this minute and seven left? This police car is right for the smashing. We're going to come back at the bus the other way. Why not? Oh, my God. We set it so hard. We just went up and through. And getting a weird landing to the wheels. Shed the skin. Who needs the body? 50 seconds to go. One of the greatest saves you might ever see. Come on, don't hook on any of that stuff. We are gonna go for it. Up and into the backflip ramp, big time, and into like a cyclone twist. What the heck was that? I don't even know. I don't know if there's a name for what we just did, but there should be. That was incredible. What about this? I've learned that smashing into this does nothing. Let's just go up gently. Can we get the consecutives? Oh, we're gonna rub up against the chassis. It's not gonna be clean but nothing is at this point in the run. 15 seconds to go. Come on, what can we do? Smash into more stuff. Get more crazy landings. Can we pull out one more save? Come on, we gotta be able to do it. We did it. As the clock hits zero, I'm running into the wall. I'm smashing myself out of this arena. After a beautiful save, I'm parking it. That was 10 trucks tearing it down here at the Sun Bowl and what a way to cap it all off. So guys, be sure to head down to the comments and let me know which truck you think won this event, who tore it up the best in freestyle. Let us know down in the comments. And of course, feel free to give us some more suggestions of trucks and tracks to use for future installments. Maybe I'll get a little list going. And of course, don't worry all you Wreckfest lovers out there, the Gauntlet 2 is still in production, it's coming. And I appreciate all your patience. Thank you so much. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one.